Hello friends, welcome back. So I'm going to start a new web series on Spring Boot. And in this web series, we'll talk about each and every single concept of Spring Boot. Okay, so this is the very first video of this web series, web series on Spring Boot. And in this video, we'll see how to install the Spring Tool Suit STS plugin in Eclipse because this is the prerequisite for you to work on spring project okay or on a spring boot project so what i'm going to do is i'll just start my eclipse id i already have eclipse id installed on my machine if you do not have you can just simply google it go to google.com and type eclipse id so the very first link which you will see on your screen is to download eclipse okay if you want let me just show you here this is my google.com and if i type here eclipse it says download eclipse so this eclipse.org the very first link is the official website of it of eclipse and from here you can download the eclipse download 64 bit from here you download and then when you install it i have already have another video another video in which i have explained how to install eclipse ide so I'll just share the link with you guys. So this is what you have to do is you need to download the Eclipse first. And before that, you need to have Java. It's better to have Java 1.8 before and I think I've already installed Java 8 on my machine. See if you hear, I have 1.8. So this is what you need before you go and install Eclipse. So I believe you already have Java and Eclipse on top of that. And now you are ready to install the Spring Boot a plugin that is Spring Tool Suit STS in Eclipse. Okay, so what you are once you are done with the installation of Eclipse, just open your Eclipse ID so it will look something like this. Okay, so here if you see this is my fresh ID, I do not have any project, I don't have any server, nothing is there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first I'll go and install Eclipse or oh, sorry, Spring Tool Suit. So what I will do is if you see if you can see here. I have clicked on help menu and then down it says Eclipse market. You can see here, right? just click on that. So there will be a pop up window just like exactly like this. Now, if you see marketplaces, there are three options one is Eclipse marketplace, second is oh, one second second one is obvio marketplace and third one is red hat so we'll go to the eclipse marketplace and now you can see here is search box it's here right find so what i'm going to do is just type spring tool suit or i think if you will type spring that will also work and hit enter once you type spring tool suit hit enter now you can see here it is searching for a spring tool suit here in Eclipse, Eclipse market marketplace. Now, here you have like a couple of options, right? So we are going to install the very first one, which is Spring Tools 4. Aka Spring Tool Suit STS 4.5.1 release. Okay. So here you can see there is an install button. Just click on that. Now here like it says you have so many things when like when you install eclipse plugin basically you are going to install these many options spring boot language server feature spring tool suit for buss language server cloud foundry and some other options right but i would say if you see here these two are mandatory you need to have these two plugins or like you can say features of this plugin but i would say just select all and just install everything Okay, now click on confirm. So now you can see it's calculating requirement and dependencies. So basically it's getting ready to install. It's gonna be quick, it won't take much time. Let's see. Now you need to accept the terms and click on finish. 
now you can see here it is installing software for you so basically it is installing spring tool suit in the IDE or spring tool suit plugin in Eclipse IDE here you can see the progress it will be quick it won't take much time so just wait for this to happen and then, then we'll verify whether we have successfully installed or configured the STS plugin in Eclipse or not that I'll tell you how to verify now here you can see right it is installing or downloading some jars different different jars here you can see here different versions and different jars here here you can see the percentage 13 percent 14 26 27 32 so it's quick it depends on your internet speed if you are having high high speed internet it's gonna be quick for you guys and else you have to wait Now just click on install anyway. Click on restart because now we have configured the plugin. We have installed the plugin. We'll restart the IDE and then we'll verify. okay so just click on workbench now let's see whether we have sts installed successfully or not so what you have to do is just click on file new and go to other and just type in spring so now here you can see spring started starter project and import spring getting starter content so now if you see here right spring starter project it means your id is is capable or now your IDE can support Spring Boot projects. Now you can go and create Spring Boot projects from here only by using your Eclipse IDE or you, could, you can import an existing Eclipse project in your sorry existing Spring Boot projects in your Eclipse IDE. And like there is another way also if you guys do not know, I'll talk about that way later on. Spring uh, IO, I think Spring Initialize.io. If you see this is like uh, add, you can say a web-based UI to create a Spring Boot projects, but same can be done by using your ID itself. So we'll talk about these two features later in the coming video or maybe in the second chapter. In the second chapter, we'll talk about how to create a Spring Boot uh, project using ID itself or, or using this web fr uh, front end, which is given by the Spring itself. So friends, that's for this video. So in this video, we have learned how to create, how to configure STS Spring Boot tool suit in Eclipse IDE. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.